everyone how are you all doing i hope you're all doing great and wonderful well i'm wonderful and i'm gonna read you another book and it's called the golden acorn so i think this book is gonna be an acorn that is golden so you see in this picture right here there's a squirrel holding an acorn and I think this is her team. So I think it's gonna be a contest, I guess. Hmm, let's see. So I hope you like this book. So let's get started. The Golden Acorn by Katie Hudson. Squirrel loved being the fastest. She could fly through the trees faster than anybody and had the trophy collection to prove it. Her most prized trophies were from the annual golden acorn hunt. Only the fastest racers won the golden acorn and Squirrel had taken it home the last eight years. But this ear was different. All those competing in tomorrow's golden acorn hunt must do so as part of a team, Beaver read. The golden acorn, the fastest racer wins. Rule change. All those competing in tomorrow's golden acorn hunt must do so as part of a team. Squirrel scoffed. But I'm the fastest animal in the forest. I don't need a team. But we'd love to be on your team, Squirrel, said Rabbit brightly. You? Squirrel looked at her friends. They really did not seem like race material. But Squirrel had no choice. The race was tomorrow. Maybe a little training would do the trick. Or maybe not. The 60th Annual Golden Acorn Hunt. The next morning, Squirrel gathered her team at the starting line. The golden acorn has been hidden, the judge yelled. Ready, set, go! Whoosh! Squirrel was off, overtaking all the other racers, even her own team. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called. We've lost Tortoise! Ugh, Tortoise, huffed Squirrel, pacing back. Squirrel grabbed Tortoise, plopped him back on the branch, and took off again, but not for long. Squirrel, wait! Her friends called once more. We're all tangled up! Squirrel untangled her friends and was off yet again for about 10 seconds. You can't be serious, Squirrel moaned. Squirrel, wait, her friends called. Beaver is stuck. Oh, come on, Squirrel groaned. Once Beaver's bottom was pushed free, Squirrel was off as fast as her feet would carry her. So fast that she didn't even hear her friends calling for her. Over logs and under branches, inside trunks and above treetops, Squirrel raced as fast as she could to find the golden acorn until there it was. It was the biggest golden acorn Squirrel had ever seen. She pried it from its hiding spot and took off. 
But the golden acorn was heavy, much too heavy to carry alone. And there was only Squirrel, all by herself, Squirrel and her golden prize. After lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, she took a little rest. She was tired and sweaty and lonely. And as Squirrel looked out upon all the other racers still searching for the acorn, she realized she had lost her friends. The golden acorn would just have to wait. Whoosh! Off Squirrel raced, faster than she ever had before, over logs, under branches, inside trunks, and above the treetops until... There they were! After lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, Squirrel had her friends back. Her team didn't come in first, and they didn't get a trophy, but it didn't matter. From now on, Squirrel's friends would always come first. The End so I hope you like this fun acorn book. So if you like this book, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye, everyone. See you in the next video.